Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone, and we are in Woodstock, Georgia, at the Foxtail Bookshop. We are here in order to celebrate Brenda Novak, author extraordinaire, and she's doing a book signing. That's kind of the noise that you hear in the background. We'll get to visit with her later on screen. We are here to chat with her about her latest novel that is called Summer on the Island. It has been called by one reviewer, heartfelt, uplifting, and undeniably romantic. Stay tuned. You've been in the DM Zone. Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. And we are here in Woodstock, Georgia, at the Foxtail Bookshop. And I am here with Brenda Novak. I call her author extraordinaire because she is. Welcome, Brenda. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> so we just finished a signing. And part of what I'd like to talk about is how did the spark for Summer on the Island happen? Well, it was a news article, and because there's a big bombshell secret in it, I can't be too specific, but there was something in California that happened that was kind of jaw-dropping to me, and I thought, how could this happen? How could the people involved deal with what happened, which is highly unusual? So I wanted to explore that within the pages of a book, and so that secret entered in Summer on the Island. I love it. And now, is this a series, or a beach series? I know it's all complete in its own, because you do that. You have standalone um, books. But is this a series, a beach series? What kind of, is it? it? Nope, it just is a story in and of itself. They call it a standalone. It's just a big beach read. So I do do beach reads, but they're not connected. <laughs> the characters aren't connected, and the settings are slightly different. One's on an island, one's on, you know, maybe a another beach. beach, another <laughs> island, but they're not. The another same. beach. Yeah, yeah, another beach, another beach. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your fundraising that you have raised over $2 million for diabetes. It started with your son. Yep, Thad, my youngest. He was diagnosed when he was five, and as a mother that's protective of her child, I was just dying to do something to try and fix this thing. When I found out all the terrible things diabetes does to a body, which I was, I think we're all anesthetized to the fact that we hear the word diabetes so much. You don't really and, understand. Yeah, you right, don't understand right. it. People say, oh, just eat better. I'm thinking, no, no, this is <laughs> that's that's type, type two. two. <laughs> this is type one. It's an autoimmune disorder. And he was five when he got it. He was an athletic little boy. He wasn't a couch potato. And so it's just something that, you know, a flu or something can trigger, causes your immune system to turn on it's itself. Shut and yeah. Shut, yeah, and it'll shut down your pancreas, uh, the beta cells in your pancreas. Whoa. So when that happened, I was just dying to try and fight back for my little boy. And I thought I'd lay, to, lay awake at night and think, I wonder if I could raise a million dollars in my lifetime. If I could and now you have dollars. raised two million. Yeah, two the, and, oh, so well, we're, well, well, who's counting? Okay, and and let's say the website. It's at brendanovac.com. There's a For the Cure um, tab there. Okay, yes, it's but. so phenomenal. I always tell my authors to look for something that they're passionate about. And you found it God showed you. So yes. I mean, it's great. It's yes. great. The yes. other thing that I wanted to talk about is um, what would you be doing? You talked about your life <laughs> and it was really fun how you got into, and we won't go into that. They can listen to it online. As far as how you got into the book biz, what would you be doing if you weren't doing what you are doing now? Well, if my life hadn't taken the path that it did with marriage and children too, because that, that would have made yeah, five. it <laughs> difficult. I have five. I want to be a physicist. I spend all my extra extra time watching straight documentaries about the origin of the universe, about, you know, black holes and wormholes and dark energy and dark matter and what these things could possibly be and just fascinated by it. And my husband has zero interest. So as soon as I put on one of those shows, he comes out and goes to sleep and I watch one every night. Um, you know, the whole debates over, you know, whether reality is based on waves or particles. And it, it just, it's to me, it's fascinating. So I would be... I love it. That is like, I would no no way be able to do that that's science and I was yeah, never well, very good if I could handle the math I'm not sure I can yeah thank you math, that's why I wasn't an architect I'm very fascinated <laughs> by it yeah that's my subject right and there the, and the other thing that I wanted to say is that you spent so much time today and you were just so generous and you oh, are thank all you. the time thank with you. your readers how can they reach you? Because you've got a whole bunch of platforms. So if you'll just say how your readers can connect with you. You bet. At brendanovac.com, you can find all the ways to connect with me. That's probably the easiest to remember. But I'm also on Facebook, highly active on Facebook. And that's author Brenda Novak. I also have Brenda Novak's book group on Facebook, which has over 20,000 members. Um, and that's highly active, engaged, wonderful readers. We do so <laughs> many fun things in there, including the Brenda Novak book boxes, a monthly book group meeting where we feature other authors when I don't have a release 
podcast. We do bingo. We do so many fun things. Didn't I so. say she was author extraordinaire? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on Instagram. And uh, so, you know, I'm all over. It's easy if you Google me. You can find me. That's awesome. And remember, her latest book is Summer on the Island. And we've been visiting with Brenda Novak. You've been in the DM zone. <laughs> Come back soon. Thank you.